Welcome to Craft Shop. Brad here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this rustic coat rack out of wood that you probably just have laying around. This is a project that only took me a couple dollars and it was very fast and easy. Alright, so this is just some of the wood I'm using. This is a 2x8 and then I'm also using one of these pieces of old pine. I think I got this off of a pallet a long time ago. So the first thing I'm doing is planing down the 2x8 to take off the rounded corners. And that's looking pretty good right there. Next thing to do is to cut it to size. It's a little bit too wide and a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna rip it down on the table saw and then take it over the miter saw and chop a little bit off. All right, now I'm just chopping this other piece to size. And this piece of wood's a little bit warped, but I think I can still work with it. All right, that's looking good right there. Now I just wanna cut little corner supports. So I'm just ripping up the extra piece that I have and I'm cutting 45 degree angles on it. Now I'm just gonna cut it in half. And if I measure correctly, these should line up perfectly. All right, now I'm just gonna beat up this board a little bit, only because the other board is so rough. So I kinda want to uh, give it a little bit more of a rustic and used look. And I'm just gonna drill a few holes and pull the screws out, just to, again, give it more of a used look. All right, the boards are pretty rough, so I'm just gonna sand them a little bit. All right, now time for a little bit of stain. I'm just using dark walnut. And I want to make sure that I'm really pushing the stain into all those little pits that I created. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start screwing these pieces together. And I don't really want to have visible hardware, so most of my screws are going to be going in through the back. All right, time to screw the top on. And that's my new mount that I made recently. If you guys keep up with the videos, you saw it. Yeah, this piece is a little bit warped, so I'm, I'm kind of banging it into place right now, but it looks like it's gonna work fine for me. All right, I've got a few high spots, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stain this one more time, but the pits should be a little bit darker than the top of the wood because it's been stained twice now. And I'm really happy with the way this is looking now. All right, I'm just using lag screws as my coat hangers. These were super cheap and I, I just saw them at the hardware store and figured I'd give them a try. All 
All right, just drilling some starter holes because I don't want to split the wood. These are huge screws. All right, time to just ratchet them down into place. And there it is. Now time for me to figure out how to mount it. I decided I'm just gonna use lag screws to mount it as well because I didn't wanna deal with creating a French cleat system or anything like that for this. And I figured the lag screws would kinda match the aesthetic. So I just measured my holes 16 inches apart, just like the studs in my building. and I'm just pre-drilling the studs a little bit. Now time to screw it to the wall. And this went up pretty easy. There it is. The final product. This will be great for our shop aprons. Thank you for watching. This is a very fun project to do, super easy, and it only cost a couple dollars. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, please make sure to check out my channel because I've got a ton of project videos and I'm always uploading more content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.